welcome to my channel. My name is Tommy Daniels and I'm Shay Daniels. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you're subscribed. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Tommy Daniels. I film about faith, love, um, property, lifestyle, relationships. And today's video is one about relationships and marriage. Um, so if you are new, um, I'd like to encourage you or ask you <laughs> to please subscribe to my channel. Um, please. And also, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know it's your first time. And, um, yeah, we'll talk in the comment section. All right. Um, today I've got my, my lovely husband, um, Shay Daniels, as he's introduced himself. Um, actually, if you just a few weeks ago, we did a video together. I posted a video, um, a sit down video um, with both of us, and it was the truth or drink um, video, which was really fun. Uh, so if you've not seen that video yet, please watch it. Also watch the previous video before this, which was the Croatia travel vlog. As actually just explore <laughs> and check out all the videos on my channel. There's yeah. definitely something that you can check out. All right, Mr. Daniels, what are we doing today? Today we're talking about um, a topic so dear to my heart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> secrets to a happy marriage yes and um, knowing that we're veterans in marriage you know being married for over 30 is <laughs> kidding <laughs> um no it's actually coming up to our fourth year um yeah. wedding anniversary next month, month yeah. yeah i mean in december um so um i mean i guess we have some experience well actually what what led to this topic was actually shay you brought them um, the idea for the topic yeah um what what led to it I think um, I was just reflecting after having a chat with um, somebody um, and I was just reflecting how we're blessed in our marriage, how we enjoy our marriage and we genuinely love our marriage. And I was just like, you know what, why don't we just share um, the top tips mm -hmm. as a way that's kept our marriage yeah. the way it is. So a, a bit of a disclaimer, you know, we're not, we're not saying that we're experts or we're not saying that we know it all. Yeah. Um, but this is just, I guess, you know, from our perspective, what we believe has helped or helps us in our marriage and how we've been able to, you know, stay together four years. I know, you know, some of you are like, yeah, I've been together 15 <laughs> years. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, 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 um, you know, like, irrespective of how old you are in your marriage or even if you're not married yet, um, I believe that there's definitely something that you can hear. So we're going to be sharing three top tips um, for marriage, but because we're so generous, we're actually going to be giving you a lot more than three, but there'll be three top ones, which will come, you know, later on in this video, but we'll start with the additional ones first. Okay. Yeah. So make sure you stick around for the three top tips. All right, Mr. Daniels, do you want to get us started? Um, so one of the um, points before we get to the top um, three top tips is um, your partner is not your competition. Mm word <laughs> i think that you know this this is as has helped me has helped us you know each time we 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 remember that our partner is not our competition um oftentimes you know if you've got a difference of opinion i just step back or you know my wife steps back and then just uh, <laughs> thinks about you, you know what we're trying to achieve mm -hmm. and then if um, we're not agreeing at that moment, you know, we'll, we'll leave it as it is and just remember that we're on the same side. And yeah. um, the aim is not to win the battle. The aim is not to win a war. You know, yeah. we are going to the same place and we're trying to achieve the same goal. Awesome. Right. So we've got the tips written now. Um, the second um, tip that we'll give is sow seeds that you want to see in your marriage. So whatever it is that you want to see in your marriage, if you want to see love, sow love. If you want to see peace, so peace. If you're, if you don't want to sin again, don't sin, don't, don't sow again. So basically, whatever, there's a principle of sowing and reaping that, yeah. you know, when you sow, you do reap that as well. Absolutely. And I, even if you maybe feel like you have a difficult marriage and, or maybe, you know, you've kind of, things are quite bad like, um, in your marriage, you can start today to yeah. sow, you know, what you want to see. So yeah. that the, the, the love that you want to see, the, the way you want your husband to, love you begin to love him that way the way you want your children i mean we're speaking specifically about marriage but the way you basically what you want to see um so what you want to see in the marriage yeah. so that same thing if you want you know your husband or wife to respect you do the same honor them do like basically just so whatever it is that you want to read yeah and um now to the next tip is um learn to compromise 
and mm -hmm. you know it's learned to compromise for a reason <laughs> because i think probably more um, especially for men um we've got our ego you know the, the society has um, set us up in such a way where it almost feels like you know we shouldn't compromise on things but again i've learned in marriage that you've got to learn to compromise it's not every time it's going to be your way sometimes yeah. it's going to be your way some other times it's not going to be your way. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely okay. We're going to take a commercial break. Not commercial. <laughs> but I just realized that I didn't even talk about my hair. I, 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 like, I really love it. As I was watching, I was just like, I need to talk about this. But this, again, my hair is from London Virgin Air. Check them out on Instagram. But I absolutely, absolutely love it. Yeah, Knowing yeah. that I'm not a egg guru or anything. Um, so it's not like I take care of it like massively. But it's really, really nice. It feels so soft. Like, same time I'm running my own streets. Anyway, enough of the commercial. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. This is just me genuinely saying that this is good hair. So check them out. London Virgin Air on Instagram. All right. So the next tip, um, again, stick around for the top three ones. But these are just additional um, tips. Next tip is for you to prioritize your spouse and your nuclear family but again as we're talking about marriage specifically we'll just talk about like prioritizing your spouse mm. i think you know sometimes it showed me before people that maybe you've come from a close-knit family or you've come from a place where you're so close you have friends maybe girlfriends or guy friends that you're so close to and these people were your family and all of a sudden a guy or lady came into the picture so you're finding it difficult to sure. detach um, but the bible says and a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave so you need to leave and, and cleave. cleave um so that 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 process of leaving and cleaving it means that you're prioritizing your spouse mm -hmm. over your friends mm -hmm. and over your uh, i don't know your extended family now at this point your parents i know that you know everyone needs you you know you're so important to them but you know sometimes like we feel like our spouse is always going to be there so we can run mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. you know being everything to everybody mm -hmm. but we don't like you know um respect them i was i was watching um a show on um, netflix and um this evening actually and um the lady was she's constantly like you know talking about her business at this and that's never never attending like to her husband's um needs and i couldn't i can just tell that 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 marriage is heading for a <laughs> for, the <rock>. <laughs> <laughs> for the rock um so make sure you prioritize your spouse over everyone and everything else and then if i could just add anything except god of course god yeah. first and then your spouse second if i could add anything you know um don't waste your energy don't waste your emotions you know on other people prioritize your partner your wife or your husband in this case Yes. Um, the next tip is be truly one in mm. everything. Yep. This one. <laughs> including finances. This one is like a, a, old, <laughs> a old topic. We actually did a video yeah. about this. I did a video I about this with one ago. of my sisters. No, a few months ago. Oh, okay. Um, talking about like finance finances and marriage yeah, and like yeah. being one i can't remember how i ordered it but please check my channel in case i don't link it yeah. but yeah carry on. be truly one in everything i i think i found out that a lot of people get married um with their body <laughs> but you know they leave some certain part of their life um aside or they leave it separately um the way it is, two shall become one. Mm -hmm. And there is no, there's nothing outside the brackets or there's nothing inside the brackets. It's got to be, well, you've got to be one in everything, finances included. And I think I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it as that. Okay. All right. We're getting closer to the top three tips. So stick around for that. Um, next um, talk, next tip um, we'll say, you know, for a happy marriage is to take breaks often. Um, go on vacations. I know that the look when we say vacation sometimes I think some people are already just thinking money, like you're just thinking, <laughs> where are we going to get yeah. time, where are we going to put the kids, where are we going to do this? Um, of course, like, you know, everyone's going to have their own, like, specific situations, but as much as possible, take breaks. It doesn't have to be anything, like, so extravagant, but it could also be, you know, you could plan towards it. But even, like, just a day, like, even if it's, even if you can't, maybe you can't go away for for a night, yeah. which you probably can, like, you know, yeah. if you plan it. But even if you really, really can't, just, you know, take time, time off, like, block out your whole day, like, go to the park, have a picnic um go, like just plan it all day like go watch a movie um 
it doesn't have to be expensive but like yeah. also like you know go on vacations like visit new places try new things together um i think it's really good like especially sometimes you know you're feeling so like oh my god like being in the same house every day doing the same thing every single day even now like you know that people are walking from home yep. you may probably just be tired of seeing each other in that you know yeah. in that environment so taking yourself out of your usual day-to-day life i think is really really important and just makes you like think different and yeah. you're kind of you are seeing life different actually you need to like pause and actually just take a step back and think about things and i think it's really really good for for uh, marriages and so make sure you, you take breaks often and while you're at it make sure you're not discussing the issues at home <laughs> i mean <laughs> sure, issues to no, no, no 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 make sure you leave business leave mm-hmm. You know, um, the mundane yeah, things that people like, that work together, yeah. or like make sure, like for instance, if you have kids, make sure it's not like you don't spend the whole like vacation or break talking about like what the kids would do, how they would like, yeah, let it be about you, yeah. So, um, the next tip before we get to the top three tips is, um, remember, um, the concept of individualism in marriage. Mm-hmm. So, yes, two have become one, but you are still two people that still love to do you know certain things differently so re- remember that and allow yourselves you know mm. to be um to be an individual in that sense um so basically you don't have to always do the same thing together you know yeah yeah i think you said that perfectly all right next is to help each other grow in purpose i think that's self explanatory and kind of linked to what you're saying in terms of indu- so even if i have like you know things that i'm doing separately you know my husband should be able to encourage me you know yeah. in what i'm doing and help yeah. and help me to grow like in purpose and to yeah. you know fulfill my visions um my plans and the same thing i like i should be doing um, the same for for him as well. So again, because mm-hmm. I know it, we know it's not a competition, as we said earlier mm-hmm. on, we're not thinking that huh, this person is getting too big, <laughs> this person is going to is going too fast, or is going to um, you know is reaching these levels, and I'm just there. But it's not a competition. We're in this together. We're a team. We're one. Um, so help each other grow in purpose. Yeah. Um, and to the next. Um... <laughs> This is good. That <laughs> so to the next tip, um, before we get to the top three tips, is um, explore each other's body more. And I think... Uh, Children, <laughs> click off. <laughs> um, I think it's just um, about being conscious. Um, it's about consciously exploring each other's body um, sexually. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> Make sure that, you know, it's not the same style we started with <laughs> on the first night. <laughs> All right, Mr. Daniel's teachers. <laughs> enduring on. Yeah, but make sure that you actually explore and enjoy, you know. Um, intimacy. Yeah, intimacy, I see. <laughs> uh, okay, now this is the last one before the top three. Um, and it is to... Oh, sorry, I missed one actually. But yeah, I think along the same lines of what you were saying, that sex, you know, is not just for procreation but to express love to each other mm. so i think this is mm. in both i was thinking about this in both ways one is hope couples are trying to have kids or yeah who are in that like childbearing um phase it's i guess it's easier for them to fall into that motion of like you know tracking your cycle and thinking is this time like okay we need to go for it now we need to do it now and you know you're just thinking about ch- um, children 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 and then for couples the other side is for couples who are done having kids it's not like okay i don't need to have sex with you again because you know, I, I don't need no kids. <laughs> I don't need any more kids. So I think it's understanding that sex is also like a form of exploring laws. Um, sorry, expressing love yeah. or um, expressing your love to each other. So it's yeah. not just for procreation. So make make, make it work well, okay? Um, and then we've got just this one more before we yeah. go into the top three. Yeah, yeah. You can take it. Um, so the last tip before we go to the top three is respect and honor each other. I think that um, this cannot be said any clearer. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you respect and yeah. honor each other. And I've seen some people in marriage where they respect their pastors more, mm-hmm. they they respect their boss at work more, yeah. and they yeah. actually don't respect, respect their, their partner. parents more. Yeah, respect their parents more. But, but remember that, um, like we started with about um, sowing seeds. So if you want to be respected and honored, 
you need to show it um you need to do it and then it will come back to you yeah. yeah and i think just to add to that is respect is able show like you can't just say oh I, he knows i respect him so i don't mm. have to do that i don't have to do that or she knows i respect uh so i don't like respect will show in how yeah. you speak to them Absolutely. but also how you speak about them even when mm. they're not there and i think even that is even more yeah. like when you don't when it doesn't like cost you or when you don't have any problem with literally like talking down on your spouse thinking because they're not there oh these are my friends they um they, they can understand or these are my people like okay. yeah it, it shows so um yeah absolutely important to respect all yeah. right so now we're going to go into the top three tips uh, i'll take the first one and yeah. our number one number one tip for um, a happy marriage um what we believe you know that's helped us is communication and transparency yeah. i know once you had co communication you're like oh my god here we go again <laughs> everyone's yeah. always shouting and chanting communication but it's absolutely important i think most of the things that we said actually a lot of it has to do with communication and, and you see like you know communication and coming out a lot in this um top three tips but you need to communicate mm. you need to communicate um a lot of, like you find people that are um living in a house They'll say, look, they observe each other and they're keeping malice and they don't talk. And then they think, oh, it's normal. Like we just didn't talk for one. The first time we didn't talk for one day. And then the next time is you're going two days. And the next thing is a week. And then, in, yes, you do make up, you do come back together and you think, but then what you don't realize is in that time that you're apart, you're probably growing apart yeah. little by little. Things are happening. Life is moving. Like mm -hmm. you're living life. You're not pausing your life because you're, you know, not on, um, good terms with, with your spouse so it's so important to communicate make sure that you're giving they're not giving the devil any chance to like you know come in between or any window you're not opening any sort of there's no opening there's no open um opening for the devil to come in mm -hmm. to your marriage so you're communicating of course you'll be upset with each other you have yeah. misunderstandings but you need to deal with it there and then there's no need to let this fester and think oh i'm just going to take a walk i'm i, I need to cool down like i know you're cooling, cooling down for two days like yeah. what kind of cooling down is that <laughs> um and transparency as well yeah. um and this goes with that as well see look it, again back to things like a lot there are some couples that they don't they can't look at each other's phones yeah. they don't know what each other what they earn they don't know what um what businesses they're investing in they you literally they, everybody's like we talk about individualism, but then some people take it to the extreme. And, <laughs> you know, it's just almost like two people, like two housemates. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's not what it should be. Mm. So you need to be transparent. Why can't you, like, look at your spouse? Like, what are you hiding? Like, there needs to be trust. The thing is that sometimes, like, these things, there's actually even nothing there. Um, but then the devil starts to use it because you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. Mm. So you keep, you're now trying to start building castles and thinking, mm, because she said this, she must have been doing this and that. But, but if you're communicating, if you're open and honest mm. and transparent, it will, like, you know, it's easy. You can, when you're thinking, when you're, the other day I actually asked you, I don't like, I asked you like a question. You remember the question I asked you when you were sitting there not too long ago? About what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just asked him point blank, like rather than try like starting to view castle in the air, but oh, not to be I think it was something to do with a surprise or something that you were oh, wow. was somebody it? was being nosy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then it's better to ask, like rather than not start thinking, hmm, I need to start watching him on his computer and start seeing what he's doing. So um again I think I've gone on a <laughs> tangent mm. trying to explain this, but make sure that you are communicating and make sure that you are transparent, like open and transparent with each other. Yeah. And then just to add um something, if you if you as a partner in a marriage, if you feel like you don't want your spouse to know about something, check your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's probably not in the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Um the second top of tip. our top tips um is keep God in your marriage. Keep God yeah. at the center of your marriage. Yeah. And um we say this because we know that the institution of marriage was set up by God. Yeah. So it was never man's idea in the line. first place. Marriage was created by God. Yeah. Okay. No matter what, like the media is trying yeah. to make it these days, it was set up by God and it will remain God's institution. Yeah. And we know that it being God's idea, it means that a lot of oppositions against it, which we would not delve into right now. So it means that there will be challenges in marriage, but keeping God at the center of your marriage means that 
um, practically it means praying for yourselves, yeah. praying together, yeah. you know, praying over your own, praying over your marriage. Yeah. It's 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 almost a conscious you bringing God back. You know, it's not just on the wedding day. You know where that scripture talks about um, a three cord fold that cannot be broken. That three cord fold, a three fold cord, a three fold cord that cannot be broken. It needs to be something that you keep on in your marriage. So keep God at the center of your marriage. Um, and there are some things that you may might think that oh, it's it's probably not necessary to involve God. Please yeah. do involve God. You know, um, I've got several examples of how we got into a disagreement. And I was right. I knew I was right, or I knew that um, what, what I was saying was right. And my wife wasn't having it. And then I asked the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Spirit told me <laughs> that I should keep my calm and then just say yes and go with the flow. And I did. And later, my wife comes back and says, oh, you were right. And, you know, we've had that happen over and over. You know, God just helping us deal with things and um, being in the center of our marriage. Yeah, absolutely. And now to our final tip for this video and our final top tip is the one I actually, I really love this one. And it's, you know, laughing together mm. with each other, at, at each, each other, other. Mm. <laughs> and choosing, you know, choosing to be happy and doing fun things together. Mm. I think the laughter part is something that I think that I love. I actually really, really love about us. Like we really laugh at each other. Especially like, <laughs> if you know her. <laughs> <laughs> we really, really laugh at each other, but it's not in a disrespectful or dishonorable way. I'm not la like, it's not in a mocking way. And you will know if someone is trying to mock you. But for instance, we're constantly, you know, talking about like how, like, you know, our unis and, you know, <laughs> making jokes like he's always talking about, talking about like oh you know my uni needs to do a refund yeah, because maybe yeah. if I make a grammatical error for instance yeah. um, and I, it's the same for him as no, well no, no, no. I went to Gratify there's no refund <laughs> uh, alright um, I mean I'm not saying that I went to um, London School of Economics which is like wow. the top three in the wow. UK but you know there's no need to say that is there no <laughs> but yeah um, I think that's one thing like I really love like I, we, we, we just laugh at each other we laugh together we laugh at things obviously you know your spouse you know the mm. things that they will take as a joke and don't get me joking about things that are sensitive <laughs> and <laughs> things that will hurt them yeah. you're not trying to hurt them you're really just genuinely have fun so have fun be happy laugh 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 together at each other with each other and um we believe you know that you know as you keep god at the center of your home yeah. you will have a happy marriage along with his other tips that we have mentioned in this video okay remember the top three tips again um communication and transparency yep. keep god at the center of your marriage and laugh, laugh. at each other <laughs> <laughs> but yeah thank you so so much for watching this video and um, if you enjoyed it or you learned anything in this video please leave a comment in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up but yeah. also take it a step for that by sharing sure, in your sure, you know sure. groups um your um, with your family your friends on your social media channels yeah. it will go a long way and please make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed it would really really encourage me thank you so much for watching i'm tommy daniels and this is shay daniels good bye bye <laughs> bye bye, bye.